Hi there, welcome back to Save a Crypto. Okay, so this is like a video that I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with because I'm starting this on Saturday the 26th of October 2024 and what I've been talking about in some of the recent videos, obviously around this time, is the idea of making 1.72% a day to turn $2,000 into 1 million. Now, as I'm recording this right now, I haven't actually started that, but I'm playing about with about $84 worth of uh, Bitcoin. And uh, so far, I've lost $15, so that's not very good. Uh, meanwhile, I thought I'd play around with some Solana and actually have the goal of making more Solana. So I've currently got this trade open here. Uh, this one's 3.6% in profit. Uh, now, if I look at the history, you can see opened it at 167.777, okay? And the quantity is 0.89 Solana. Now, I'm doing that on Forex leverage, which means my actual margin is 0.22, well, that there. So 0.2222 Solana, okay? So I wondered what I can make if... I just repeatedly, not necessarily every day, but if I repeatedly try and make about 3%, which is I think is quite feasible with Solana. Now for this, I'm going to use this calculator on the calculatorsite.com. So this is daily compound interest, and I'm hoping that I can put in an amount that's less than zero. Looks like I can. So I'm going to say 3%, okay, over one year. Uh, I'm going to include all days, reinvest all of it, no additional contributions. So let's calculate that. Okay. So if we look at the daily interest, okay, so that's saying that today, okay, it looks like it's rounded it up a little bit to 0 0.23. Um, so it means that by the 15th of December, I would have one Solana, okay. That's good. And then I'd have two Solana by 8th of January. I'd have three Solana by the 23rd of January. I'd have four Solana by the 3rd of February. Let's skip a little bit. So that means this time next year, I would have 10,775 Solana. Now Solana's current price is $169. So let's say we had that many Solana multiplied by $169. That's assuming that Solana hasn't gone up in a year, which obviously it will do. And that would actually be $1.8 million from my current Solana that's worth $37. <laughs> Is it possible? Well, I don't know, but I've got to have a go. Okay, so my plan generally with Solana is to you know look for when it's, say like that, you know more than 4% in profit, and then I'm just going to go, yeah, okay, I'll have that, and close the trade. Now, the thing is, could I have got a better price? Of course I could, but I'd have to hang on longer. Now, the point is, I'm holding Solana as the base currency because I'm doing the coin M on BitGet. And if you want to use BitGet, by the way, to use the link in the description, that can get you up to a $30,000 trading bonus for free. And... Because I'm holding Solana as the basic asset, it means that if I'm not in a trade, I'm still holding Solana. So if the price is going up, great. If the price is coming down, I'm looking for another long position. So for now, I'm just going to record that price into my spreadsheet and look for the next opportunity. So this is the amount here. Pop that into my spreadsheet. Now what I haven't decided yet is if I'm going to do one trade a day or if I see another trade, do I just regard that as the next day or... Or shall I change this column to like trade number and just say trade number one, two, three? Maybe that's the better way to do it, isn't it? So then I'll have like one, two, and so on with the auto complete. So there you go, that goes up to 365. So that's good. So I'm above the amount there. So it should be 0.23. I've got 0.2339, whatever. So to get the next trade. I'm not going to look for short, I'm going to look for a, a long position and I'll be waiting for a pullback. Okay, so to do this I'm going to use the 3 minute time frame, I'm going to use the Stonksy indicator, uh, I'm going to be looking for a, a, a red patch obviously 
uh, when the price pulls back and I'm also going to use the EMAs that I always use if you want to know how to set these up look at the video that's linked at the end of this one and what I'm really looking for is that red 5 EMA to come and hit the cyan 9 EMA and then in turn probably hit the yellow 21 at which point the price normally pulls back to the green one so I'm going to actually set an order at 169.25 okay so I'm going to go 169.25 uh, I'm on 4x leverage and I'm actually going to use all the amount because we've got to start somewhere and we're not playing with much money. Now I'm not 100% sure that that's going to fill at all actually the price might run away but I'm going to keep looking at the chart and see what happens. Okay so we did actually have quite a reasonable pump up and then it came down a little bit. Now the stonksy on the 3 minute is still red so I just want to check that on the 1 minute. Right, okay, the one minute's gone green, so I think I'm just going to do a little long here. I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but let's do it anyway. So I'm going to cancel that order there. Now I'm just going to pick a price out of the order book, 100%, and then open that long with a limit order. Okay, so there's the order there. Let's see if that fills. Okay, so that order did fill. And what I did before I went to bed, I set this take profit at 172.777. And when I woke up on Sunday morning, this had made 3.85% profit. Now at this point, I'm feeling a little bit FOMO, I must admit, um, because it's been quite bullish uh, this morning. And, you know, in reality, if I'd have stayed in that trade, the last one, it would have been, you know, a lot more profitable. Uh, but that's not the idea here. We're trying to compound the gains so I do want to get into another long maybe, but I'm going to look for a pullback. So I'm just looking here on a one minute time frame. Okay, so the stonks has gone red there. And from my experience, looking at these moving averages, when that cyan hits the yellow, if it does, it will pull back to the green there. So something like 174.237, I'm going to try that. So there you go, 174.237. Use all that open long okay and there's the order okay that failed almost straight away uh, I probably could have done that better but let's see what happens next I must say that thing about the cyan hitting the yellow and then coming down to the green is pretty cool isn't it actually I just noticed something if you look at these EMAs on the one hour time frame uh, with Solana. If you look at the five EMA, right, the red one crossing the cyan, which is a nine EMA. Uh, so when that crosses that, the price more often than not comes down to where the green one is, which is the 55. So look, red crosses a cyan, goes down to the green. That was this morning at three o'clock. Okay. So a bit later on, red crosses a cyan, comes down to the green. That was at 4.15. Here, the red crosses a cyan, comes down to the green. That was at 6 o'clock this morning. Then the red stayed above the cyan until here at 9 o'clock this morning. And it didn't quite come down to the green, unfortunately. Got near, though. So then it went back up here and then crossed over there at 10.15 this morning and came down to the green at 11 o'clock. And, and just now, it's not quite there, but it looks like the red is about to cross the sign there. If so, I think that will come down to 173.817, which is where I should have entered. Nevertheless, what I think I might do is just um, set a take profit, something like, you know, same again, really, you know, three. Uh, let's go mad. Let's say 4%. I think it's looking quite bullish today. Let's do that and see what happens. Yeah, I think I'll change my mind with this because you can see now it's like 3.39% in profit. So I think all I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that take profit there and I'm going to set a trailing stop um, the reason being 
I don't really want to trade uh, tomorrow because I'm going to be on an airplane and I'll have no internet. So I kind of just want to be in a good position, really. So, yeah, I think I'm going to set a trading stop at about 1.344. Okay. 1.344. Um, oh, okay. Only let's me do 1.34. That's okay. Maybe you should say 1.35, actually. Just in case. Okay. Now, unfortunately, in... Bit get the trailing stop is awful and it doesn't actually show you where it is, which is really annoying. But we can guess that it's somewhere around here. So I'm just going to leave that to God, really. Uh, okay, lesson learnt there with the Solana. Uh, it pulled back a little bit, trailing stop hit, and it only made 0.45%. That's not really good. Okay, so let's see if we can make more next time. So that is that amount there. Okay. Doing okay, so we don't need to be on 0.25 until the fourth trade. So I'm tempted to get just one more in. Well, I'm going to wait for the second minute candle on Stonksy to close green. Okay, so one second to go, and it's green. Okay, right. Okay, so it looks like it is bouncing. I'm just going to go limit long there, see what happens. Okay, that didn't feel so far. Now, I kind of feel like I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to. So this was Sunday night, and I went long here after quite a pump, to be honest. I can't remember exactly what happened there, but I think I closed it in some profit there, and I think that was before I got on the plane on Sunday nights. So that would have been like the 27th of October. So I'll just put that in there. Uh, so it's now the 30th, and I fancy doing that again. Let's have a look. Now, I just want to refer to an old indicator that I used to use, uh, well, still use, the VWAP standard deviation bands. And we're pretty much down here now, so I think that's a reasonable time to go along when I see a green on the one minute. Okay, so look, that's just starting to go green on that one minute. I think I'm just going to go long there. Yeah, pretty much at the price we're at now. Let's see if that one fails. Yes, this video has been going on for like a week now, so uh, I think what I should do is, you know, close it maybe today and just look at what I've made over the week. Um, obviously, this is a very small amount I'm dealing with here. Uh, the last trade, by the way, that uh, closed at 2.91% in profit uh, with Solana at 175. Okay, so that's where we were with that. Uh, since then, I entered another trade, so I am open at 165.1 which is currently actually 2.45 percent in profit which is not bad so let's just have a look at my spreadsheet so what i really want to end up with here is 0.26 solana really yeah you can see here that closed with a total amount of 0.255 on halloween so we're now on the 2nd of november so let's see if we can get three percent so i think all i might do is just set a take profit at uh 166.4 okay 166.4 okay confirm that and just give it a few minutes and see if we hit that okay so that finished with 2.94 percent profit okay that's not that's okay not quite three percent but good enough so let's have a look at the total amount okay and i think we're doing good so pop that into the spreadsheet so look what i'm trying to do here i'm trying to prove uh, the fact that you know you can make a reasonable percentage in a week. So in fact, if we get these figures, that's eleven point six percent in one week, and that was with five trades. So I think maybe we should actually look at this figure rather than going by date. Look at the actual trade number. So you know we're going to get from point two three Solana to ten thousand Solana in like three hundred and sixty five trades. Let's say which isn't necessarily going to be a year. Could be faster, could be sooner. Either way, if you want to watch what I'm doing, then please do make sure you are subscribed and you've got the notifications set on all. If you want a copy of this spreadsheet, then just go to the link in the description. Don't ask for permission, just make a copy. Then that'll be your own copy that you can do whatever you like with it. Uh, like the video, of course. Uh, leave a nice comment and above all, tell your friends.